Though silence is not necessarily an admission, it is not a denial either. In all matters, before beginning, diligent preparation should be made. Every man can tell how many goats or sheep he possesses, but not how many friends. It is our own evil thoughts which make us. You can't love either the one you're afraid of, or the one who's afraid of you. Diseases of the soul are more dangerous and more numerous than those of the body. Happiness should be asked from God. Wisdom should be acquired by yourself. What then is freedom? The power to live as one wishes. If fate does not give you something, it means that it protects you from something. The beginnings of all things are small. Kindness is stronger than fear. The authority of those who teach is often an obstacle to those who want to learn. While there's life, there's hope. If a man aspires to the highest place, it is no dishonor to him to halt at the second or even the third. The greatest victory is victory over yourself. A friend is a second self. True glory strikes root and even extends itself. All false pretensions fall as do flowers, nor can anything feigned be lasting. Silence is one of the great arts of conversation. The causes of events are often more interesting than the events themselves. We must not say every mistake is a foolish one. Constant practice devoted to one subject often prevails over both ability and skill. Books, our unfailing companions. The more honest people are, the less they suspect others of dishonesty. A low soul always presupposes the lowest motives for noble deeds. A man of faith is also full of courage. The life given to us by nature is short, but the memory of a well-spent life is eternal. Boastful speeches are the first sign of weakness, and those who are capable of great things keep their mouths shut. The life of the dead is preserved in the memory of the living. If you have no confidence in self, you are twice defeated in the race of life with confidence you have won even before you have started. Friendship improves happiness and abates misery by doubling our joys and dividing our grief. The one to whom the service is rendered should remember about it, and the one you rendered it should not remember about it. In the world, there is nothing better and more pleasant than friendship.
To exclude friendship from life is the same as to deprive the world of sunlight. Knowledge which is divorced from justice may be called cunning rather than wisdom. Gratitude is not only the greatest of the choose, but the parent of all others. Nothing stands out so conspicuously or remains so firmly fixed in the memory as something which you have blundered. Your enemies can kill you, but only your friends can hurt you. If we are not ashamed to think about it, we should not be ashamed to say it. Any man can make mistakes, but only a fool persists in his error. The shifts of fortune test the reliability of friends. We are not born for ourselves alone. A part of us is claimed by our nation and another part by our friends. Let your desires be ruled by reason. In fears and danger, we are more inclined to believe in miracles. A happy life consists in tranquility of mind. No one can give you better advice than yourself. Good and evil cannot be treated the same way. To teach is a necessity, to please is his sweetness, to persuade is a victory. It is the peculiar quality of a fool to perceive the faults of others and to forget his own. Wisdom is the only thing that can banish sorrow from the breast. Thrift is an important source of wealth. A mental stain can neither be blotted out by the passage of time, nor washed away by any waters. To be content with what we possess is the greatest and most secure of riches. If you have a garden and a library, you have everything you need. Be rather than seen. The wise are instructed by reason, average minds by experience, the stupid by necessity, and abroad by instinct. The face is a picture of the mind, with the eyes as its interpreter. Not being greedy is already wealth. Not being wasteful is income. Freedom will bite back more fiercely when suspended than when she remains undisturbed. To study philosophy is nothing but to prepare oneself to die. Old age, the crown of life, our play's last act. Stupidity tends to see other people's vices and forget about their own. We need to eat and drink enough so that your strength is restored and not suppressed. Love is the attempt to form a friendship inspired by beauty. 
Ability without honor is useless. Even those philosophers who wrote treaties against fame did not forget to put their name in the title of their book. True law is right reason in agreement with nature. It is of universal application and changing and everlasting. It summons to duty by its commands and averts from wrongdoing by its prohibitions. It is a great thing to know your vices. Nature herself has imprinted on the minds of all the ideas of God. He only employs his passion who can make no use of his reason. We are bound by the law so that we may be free. He who has money cannot be punished. Order is most helpful for clear assimilation. A mind without instruction can no more bear fruit than can a field, however fertile, without cultivation. A room without books is like a body without a soul. Law applied to its extreme is the greatest injustice. Spice up your speech with humor. The love you give in life keeps people alive beyond their time. Anyone who was given love will always live on in another's heart. I prefer the most unfair peace to the most righteous war. History is the witness that testifies to the passing of time. It illumines reality, vitalizes memory, provides guidance in daily life, and brings us tidings of antiquities. For books are more than books, they are the life, the very heart and core of ages past, the reason why men worked and died, the essence and quintessence of their lives. The greatest virtue of a speaker is not only to say what is necessary, but also not to say what is not necessary. Read at every weight, read at all hours, read within leisure, read in times of labor, read as one goes in, read as one goes out. The task of the educated mind is simply put, read to lead. In times of war, the law falls silent. There are no snares more dangerous than those which lurk under the guise of duty or the name of a relationship. Natural ability without education has more often raised a man to glory and virtue than education without natural ability. I am never as busy as during my leisure hours. To be ignorant of what occurred before you were born is to always remain a child. For what is the worth of human life unless it is woven into the life of our ancestors by the records of history? For such is the work of philosophy. It cures the soul, draws off gain anxieties, confers freedom from desires, 
and drives away fears. It is foolish to tear one's hair in grief, as though sorrow would be made less by baldness. I have always been of the opinion that infamy earned by doing what is right is not for me at all, but glory. The function of wisdom is to discriminate between good and evil. For those who do not have the means within themselves of a virtuous and happy life, every age is burdensome. On the other hand, to those who seek call good from themselves, nothing can seem evil that the laws of nature inevitably impose. Freedom is participation in power. The reward of friendship is friendship itself. Of all motives, none is better adapted to secure influence and hold it fast than love. Nothing is more foreign to that end than fear. Impunity is the greatest encouragement of crime. Few are those who wish to be endowed with virtue rather than to seem so. Endless money forms the sinews of war. Time destroys figments of the imagination while confirming the judgments of nature. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments. Don't miss out on a chance to see the next video.